homologous chromosomes. Pair of chromosomes which are similar in size and shape are called as homologous chromosomes. Genes are present on the chromosomes. Each gene consists of two alleles. One of the allele of a gene is present on one of the homology while the second allele of that gene is present on the second homology. The alleles of a gene, they are present on the same position on the homologous chromosomes. If we take this diagram, homologous chromosomes are those chromosomes which are similar in shape and size. These are homologous chromosomes. One of the homologous chromosomes is of the male while the second homologous chromosome is of the female. If we take the example of a gene, gene 1, which is present on this location of one of the homologous chromosome, while the second locus of this gene is present exactly on the same position where the first allele is located. Same is with all the genes. Gene consists of two alleles, one of the allele is present on one of the homology while the second allele is present on the second homology. Take the example of gene 2. Here is the position and its allele is here. And same is with gene 3. Here is the position of one allele and here is the position of second allele. For each of the homologous chromosome, one of the homology comes from the male side while the other homology comes from the female side. If we take the example of the humans, in humans there are 46 chromosomes, 23 pair of chromosomes. Out of these 23, there are 22 pair of homologous chromosome and one pair is of sex chromosomes. Sex chromosomes in case of females is XX while in case of male is X and Y. In case of females, the XX they are also homologous to each other while in case of males there is one X and the other one is Y chromosome. In this diagram, we can see that this is the chromatogram of the chromosomes of the humans, where each chromosome consists of pairs. This is the this is first pair of chromosome, second pair of chromosome, third pair of chromosome. It means chromosomes they are in the form of homologous. This is homology one. One of the chromosome is called as homology 1, while the other chromosome is called as homology 2. If this is homology 1, this is homology 2. Same is with all the chromosomes which are similar in size and shape. If the chromosomes they are similar in size and shape, they will be called as homologous chromosomes. Here is another example where we can see these are the homologous chromosomes which are not replicated. In the middle, there is centromere and their shape and their size is similar to each other. So, they will be called as homologous chromosomes. Once homologous chromosomes, they replicate. These are called as sister chromatids. This is chromatid 1. This is chromatid 2. They are called sister chromatids to each other. Both the sister chromatids, they are joined at a position. This position is called as centromere. So, if the chromosomes, they have been replicated, again is the case in case of replicated chromosomes. One of the gene, if it is at this position, the second gene will be on the same position of the other homologous chromosome. From this diagram, we can try to identify that which are the homologous chromosome. If we see, 
chromosome this one this chromosome is homologous to this chromosome so these two chromosomes they are homologous to each other take an other example like this chromosome is homologous to this chromosome they are homologous with each other so we can conclude that chromosomes which are similar in size and shape they are called as homologous chromosomes